This is Voltron 00X. Just want to do a quick unboxing of the Acer Chromebook 15. This is the new 15.6 inch Chromebook that Acer released. It does come in two uh, varieties. You have the black Acer C910, which is the education focused version. And then the retail channel version is the Acer Chromebook 15. They both are available or will be available soon, I should say, in five tiers. Acer just announced a new low tier, which is $199.99. That one has a Bay Trail processor, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and a 1366 by 768 display. If you go to $249.99, you get the processor upgrade to the uh, Broadwell 5th generation 3205U Celeron. If you go to $299.99, which is what I'd recommend for most people, you get the Acer Chromebook 15 or the C910. Again, same device, one's black, the C910 for education, the retail one is white, Acer Chromebook 15. That one has a 1920 by 1080 IPS display. Uh, so that's the one that I'm going to recommend that most people buy. Unless you're looking to dual boot or use Crouton or otherwise use that local storage, most Chromebook users won't need uh, won't need that additional storage space. So, but you can pay an extra 50 bucks to upgrade again to a 32 gigabyte SSD, and that's actually the one that I have here, um, simply for availability purposes. When I put my order in, it was three to five weeks out to get the $299.99, so I went ahead and got the CB5-571-C6DL. So you gotta love Acer with their many models and, uh, and uh, interesting numbers and letters they throw on there, but just to keep things interesting for us, right? So you can upgrade it even further from there. If you go to $499.99, you get the 1920 by 1080p IPS display, but you upgrade the processor to the Core i5, the Broadwell 5200U. That's going to be overkill for most users. I don't recommend it unless you're going to be running Ubuntu or other operating systems on the device. It's just, it's just going to be overkill for most people. So, um, just to show you, this is the box that it came in. You're talking about, I mean, this is a big, this is a big device for a Chromebook. It's about, I think, 4.8 uh, 4 pounds, I believe. So it's it's pretty heavy. Uh, so we're going to open this thing up. We'll take a quick look at it. Again, I'm going to keep this video pretty short, just so you guys can take a look at, uh, at uh, what the device looks like. And we can just do a quick size comparison, and uh, then we'll go on from there. And I'm going to get a review posted in the very near future. Um, let you know how this how this one compares to some of the other devices. And I do have some over there. We can do a quick comparison of size. So again, Acer Chromebook 15 here. You get documentation. Setup guides for Chromebooks are always extremely brief. They're very simple to set up. International Traveler's Guide. Here is the device itself. In this nice little shroud. So we'll take this out. And there it is. One Acer Chromebook 15. This thing is huge. Wow, I knew it was going to be big. I did not mentally prepare myself for how actually big this was going to be. It is enormous. Um, it's not quite as flat as the design that they use on the Chromebook 11 and Chromebook 13. It's a little bit more rounded, like the corners are rounded off. Similar hinge, um, textured, it has more of a textured lid, lid to it and textured bottom. Um, there's a like a texture to this. Whereas the C, this Chromebook 13 and Chromebook 11 are a flatter. It is white. Uh, I do have concerns about how that's going to hold up over time. I actually stained my um, HP 14 that was white just by leaving a Surface Pro on top of it and it has that felt cover. And the felt actually stained a nice rectangle into the top of my 
HP 14. So you have to be careful with devices that are white. It's not really my, my favorite color. Here's the charging brick. This is pretty small, so that's cool. And the uh, extension cord for that. So go ahead and open it up. So there you go. Acer Chromebook 15. A couple things to note here. You get these, you can see they're covered up. Top facing speakers, nice spacious trackpad, and there's your sticker information. Fifth generation Intel processor, that's the Broadwell 3205U Celeron. Nine hours of battery, supposedly it's actually rated to sustain that. You get the IPS full HD display. You get 100 gigabytes of drive storage. It says boots in seven seconds. If it's like the C740 that had the same processor, I'm guessing it's gonna be even faster than that. I'm also guessing that because this didn't turn on that it doesn't have any power out of the box. So, but that's okay. We're gonna, I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna do a full review of this, so uh, stay tuned for that. I'll do a more in-depth look at, at the display and everything else that's going on with this device. I did want to do, just as for size comparison purposes, I have some other laptops here we can take a look at. Here is the C720 as compared with the uh, Chromebook 15. Quite a difference there, as I guess you'd expect uh, in terms of size and thickness. Um, if you want something more comical, I guess here's a here's a MacBook Air 11 sitting on top of this thing. I mean, I'll show you not from the smallest angle, but still huge difference. And then the Chromebook Pixel, which is a 12.85 inch device. There's the difference. Actually, hear me straining. I mean, this is a this is a, a very heavy laptop. <laughs> Um, we'll take a look at the ports quickly. You get the full SD, full size SD card slot, USB 2.0, Kensington lock slot, and on the left of the device as you're facing the display, your power, uh, full HDMI out, USB 3.0, and headphone microphone combo jack. That's pretty typical for uh, Acer. So. So that's it. Just wanted to unbox this for you guys. I know there's some of you that are interested in this. If you're not, stay tuned. I will have the full review coming out of this uh, in the next few days, if not sooner. The written review should be up very soon in the video sh uh, shortly thereafter. Thanks a lot. If you, if you like this video, give me a like, give me a subscribe. Always appreciated. Check out my site, Voltron00x.com, for lots more Android, Chromebook, and tech information. Have a good one, guys. Stay safe out there.